record and, and find out what we're actually doing. But if they do know anything about that movement, they can, they can disassociate us immediately because uh, we've got so, much, so many differences. For a start, we play live. We like going around, we like getting in front of the people that we're trying to reach rather than just trying to sell them records. And then there's the fashion thing. We, we know what we're wearing now. We're not particularly kind of, um, I don't know, theatrical. That'd be it was, um, it was the first, the first new thing to happen to music for such a long time. It was like the, the advent of, say, stereo. Mm. And take a group like Pink Floyd, who really used that to their advantage. They explored it and pioneered it and made something new of it. We saw a video come along and thought, hey, come on, chaps, we can do something with this. Because everybody else was doing the straight live video. Mm -hmm. Or they were putting, like, pictures of Mickey Mouse to their music, mm -hmm. which had nothing to do with the songs at all. So we, we thought, let's the go off on location. Of this incredible um, attention, this wave of emotion and energy. And standing there, and, you, and it's, it's, it's so powerful, incredibly strong, especially when you play to a very narrow kind of band of people. Like if you, if you, when we played in Japan, we were playing to an audience which was predominantly female. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't really think about what, what you know, chart success was was going to happen for us anyway, because we decided that if we want, if we, you know, if we really expected a big hit or something, I think we might have been disappointed. Well, it was some very lean years for us, yeah, four, four years and, and two albums which really bombed. Um, and I guess as a result of that, we've really got hungry and um, it's given us a, a, an edge and that, that edge is coming through in the music now. And it, it is great because people That's want when to we hear. first started, which was after punk. And it was after, punk started off as a lot of fun. But it, it kind of got more nihilistic and it got more depressing, more serious and more socially responsible. And it got boring. And then along comes <gasps> makeup, glamour. You know, a bunch of guys strutting around in tight trousers and big hair. Life has changed so much for us in so many different ways in, in, the, in the 20 odd years since we were first happening. It's, it would be crazy of us to think that we could repeat the past. So we don't even really make the comparison. You know, it's not going to be the same. It's going to be different. I mean, you know, we've got a much broader set of fans now. You know, we had quite a narrow audience. When, in 1983 and 84, when we really ruled the world, our audience was probably between the age of 12 and, and, and 18, maximum. I wore white evening jacket, shawl collar, American style, kind of like the one, no, 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 not like the one that Sid Vicious wore in, in, in um, my way, because his was double-breasted. This was, had a shawl collar and a pair of faded maroon leopard skin, skin tight, skin tight jeans. And they were faded because they'd been through the wash so many times. They kind of turned this kind of really nice pink color. <laughs> which I actually way preferred to the original maroon colour that they were. They, it looked pretty cool. 